a break tag which was just a black space and uh, yeah so instead of just typing it like that why don't we echo it out so that we can actually see it the, so that the script doesn't try and uh, pass it uh, we've got to add double quotes in it so that um, you don't get an error and instead of the and at the end we want anyone's IP address to be to go there not just the one that you choose so if you were to put 198 dot blah 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 dot blah 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 whatever as an IP address um, what it would do no matter where the script was being run from it would always go to the IP address so right now we're just going to um, insert insert the our variable IP address and close that out Wait. yeah that should be good now let's go see how this looks like in Firefox and see how we can improve it alright so it's taken our variable IP address and added it to the end of the URL oh, here so what if we want to create um, let's just say replace the URL for text and still keep it as a link well this is going to be using HTML and it might look a bit complex but don't worry I'll explain it all to you alright so um, we've seen what happens when we, run this, when we run this script what would happen now if we made it a link a, H, an HTML link so it would be a, a href and we'll set that equal to our, our URL um, and now remember you've got to be able to tell the difference between double quotes and single quotes if you were to put a double quote here it would completely mess things up because PHP reads it as double quote to double quote it doesn't know that you want that double quote to go here it just uh, reads a straight one so we actually change that to Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this a little bit simpler. Let's write it in basic HTML first. So it would be a href and set that equal to http slash slash ip address dot com slash ip tracer slash ip address. So and then after that we we'll close out, close it out, and then add the text that we want the link to be displayed. So that would be let's say click here to view the IP details. And then we close out the anchor tag. So that's how it would be done in normal HTML. Let's just get rid of this quickly. Now let's see how we would do it in PHP. First of all, we've got to add an echo, then double quotes at the beginning and end of it. And then the only problem here that we have is that it's not going to recognize dollar sign IP address as a variable, it's just going to recognize it as plain text. So what we've got to do here is actually close out the double quotes and use a dot sign to represent and, add another dot sign like so. So right now that's that's how it would look like in HTML but in PHP. So let's go see how that looks like in Firefox. Uh, sorry, it looks like the um, the website I was trying to get to actually had a spelling error. So it's actually 1D uh, and two S's which is actually grammatically incorrect. Uh, whatever spelling... Sorry, I'm a programmer not an English teacher. Um, but it's spelled wrong, so that's why it wasn't working when I tried it out. Let's go back to Firefox for the final time and see if it works. Alright, so now it's probably going to work. Here's our link. Click here to view the IP details. And if we click it, it's just going to go to the site, uh, ipaddress.com. And as expected, this IP address would could not be resolved to its location because it's a local IP address. It's the IP address of basically everyone's IP address will be that that's the internal IP address but if if this site was actually if the script that we created was an online site we would be able to see exactly where the person went to or where you went to 
And I'm sure with some of the stuff I taught you from in previous tutorials, you can learn how to perhaps create um, a script that will write the IP address of every visitor to your site onto a text file. If you need help uh, doing this, you can just um, um, send me a message on YouTube or whatever. So, um, yeah. Alright, so in that lesson, in this tutorial today, PHP for Dummies Day 14, you've learned how to manipulate someone's IP address and get it to automatically um, be put in a link that will take you to a site that should give you um, the, the details of where the IP is coming from. Um, well, as you can see, what we did today, it wasn't exactly working because I didn't really feel like uploading this site, this script that we just created online. But I assure you, if you upload this site, the script onto your website it will work perfectly so thank you for watching uh, this latest tutorial please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and are interested in getting updates about them and when a new one comes out thank you